enough is enough, Mr. Kuka. The Muslim Solidarity Forum Sokoto has an umbrella body for Islamic organizations, Islamic centers, Sufi orders, Imams, Islamic scholars, and preachers in the state has noticed with dismay the Christmas message of the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto Diocese, Reverend Matthew Hassan Kuka, when he chose to attack Islam and Muslims, especially those from northern parts of the country. He specifically claimed that President Muhammad Buhari, whom he qualified, albeit indirectly, as a Muslim and a northerner, has committed many acts of nepotism that if a fraction of it were to be committed by any non-northern Muslim president, there would have been a coup in the country. We don't know what is clearly hidden <coughs> behind such a statement. Our intention at Muslim Solidarity Forum is not to hold brief for the president, as he has those who are paid to do that. Rather, our concern is the image and reputation of Muslims, which Mr. Kuka finds pleasure in attacking without an iota of caution, and by referring to him as a Muslim, that automatically brings all Muslims in the issue. The bishop has the penchant to speak in parables and innuendos, his reference to a people who possess a pool of violence to draw from, quoting him directly, no doubt is a reference to those he has always characterized with violence, that is the Muslims. This is a serious provocation. He even has the gut to say the killings we are witnessing in Nigeria are part of a grand religious design. Quoting him again, religious? Who are the victims of the killings? What religion do they profess? Is it not a fact that over 90% of those being killed are Muslims? Who is behind the so-called design? The sensible and objective world knows the truth. We wonder how Fuka, who lives peacefully and comfortably in the heart of the Sokoto Caliphate, can make such a callous and senseless statement. Is it his hatred for Islam and the Muslims that has blinded him to this level, yeah. even though he claims to be preaching the gospel of love? For those who are familiar with Fuka's antics, that is not the first of its kind, as he utilizes every available opportunity during public lectures, homilies, media interviews, etc., to power his furious and venomous attack on Islam and the Muslims, especially those of northern Nigerian extraction. It is on record that he, a, he was at the forefront of antagonizing Sharia law implementation in some states of northern Nigeria, even though it is a constitutional right of the Muslims and is not applicable to, to Christians. B, he was a party to and beneficiary of the Christian buyers' appointment during the Obasanjo and Jonathan regimes. He has been spreading propaganda that Christians are denied places of worship and are persecuted in some parts of northern Nigeria despite the enormous proliferation of churches in Muslim-dominated areas as is glaringly evident. In February 2020, he shamelessly staged a demonstration in the heart of Sokoto over the killing of a single Christian priest in faraway Adamawa State, presumably, presumably by the Boko Haram insurgents, but he did not consider hundreds of Muslim Fulani herders that were mercilessly killed by the Christian militia in the neighboring Taraba state in 2018. Bishop Kuka, who lives peacefully and happily at the center of the seat of the Caliphate for almost a decade now, enjoying the peaceful atmosphere of the city that is founded on the teachings of Islam and benefiting from the goodwill of Muslim leaders right from childhood and up to this moment could not see anything good to appreciate in his Muslim host or their religion to disparage them. Rather, he is always using provocative and uncouthly language. This, is actu this actually signifies a deeply rooted and blind pathological hatred for anything Islamic. 
To keep the record straight, it is pertinent to ask Mr. Kuka some questions. A. Are you having grudges against Muslims because they believe in the unity of Allah, the Most High? As taught by earlier prophets of uh, Allah, including Isa or Jesus, son of Mary, like in Acts 3.13, or for their belief in the prophethood of Jesus, Isa, salam, son of Mary, as in Matthew 21.11, John 7.16, and John 13.16. What do you think would happen if the peace-loving Muslims of, of the seat of the Caliphate responded to, to your incessant provocative attacks on them and their religion by adopting the style of your brethren <coughs> in some parts of southern Kaduna, Plato, Bauchi and Taraba states who attacked, killed and drove away their innocent Muslim neighbors like what happened in Kapanchan in 1987, Zambon in 1992, Tapa Alewa in 1991, 1993, 1995 and 2001. Yell one shell them in 2004, Zonkwa and Jalkasa in 2011. Whenever there is any misunderstanding, we are not clamoring for such atrocities to be uh, to in the peaceful citadel of the Kalimet. We are not calling for that. We don't, we don't allow it. Yes. What do you think is restraining the Muslims in all parts of no in the north not to, not to ambush and kill innocent Christian passengers traveling along their towns and villages uh, as is done at Gonin Gora along Kaduna Abuja Road, uh, Kaduna Kachia Kefi Road, and Kaduna Jos Road as reprisals whenever there is anything? How many churches are there in metropolitan Sokoto? in Birnin Kadi, in Guso and in Katina. What is their total land area vis-a-vis -vis the Christian uh, population in these cities? On the other hand, what is the number of massages and their total land area in Onicha, Oweri, Port Harcourt, Enugu, Makodi, Kalava, Zangon, Katab, Zonkwa, etc., vis-a-vis -vis the Muslim populations of the above towns and cities? You can ask yourself and your local and international masters who are claiming that um, Nigerians or Muslims are not tolerant. Who is more tolerant? What is the ratio of Muslims to Christians and their duration in office as military chiefs and heads of security agencies in Nigeria from independence to death? Currently, what is the ratio of Muslims to Christians in terms of ministers and heads of government agencies and departments and parastatals if you are talking in, the, in a religious language. This Carlos statements are unbecoming of someone who parades himself as a secretary to National Peace Committee and a member of the Nigeria Interreligious Council. As such, we call on Kuka to immediately stop his malicious bite operations against Islam and Muslims and tender unreserved apology to the Muslim Ummah or else uh, he should quickly and quietly leave the seat of the caliphate. Yes. As he is trying to break the age-old peaceful coexistence between predominantly Muslim population and their Christian host and Christian guests. How, how many Catholic bishops have lived in Sokoto here peacefully? Is he the only one that has uh, become the Catholic bishop of Sokoto? We equally call on Muslim leaders who out of magnanimity have been showing goodwill to Kuka to realize that he is taking their kindness for granted and he does not appreciate the gesture. Rather, this emboldens him to fiercely attack them at any given opportunity. We call on him to ask as the Bible commands, Seek ye truth and it shall set you free by embracing the pristine monotheistic teachings of Jesus, Isa, son of Mary, alayhi salam, as finally revealed by Allah, the Almighty Lord, through the last prophet, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi salam, as heralded and announced by Moses, Musa, alayhi salam, in Deuteronomy 18, 18, and also by Jesus himself, son of Mary, in John 14, 15 to 16, in uh, 25 to 26 and John 16 to 16, 7 and 12 to 14. We conclude with a verse from the most recent final preserved book of guidance. 
from the Lord of creation directed to those who received earlier revelation before now, where Allah says, Say, O people of the book, O people of the scripture, come to a common world that is equally, that is equitable between us and you that we will not worship except Allah and not associate anything with him and not take one another as lords instead of Allah. Mm -hmm. But if they turn away, say to them, be a witness that we are Muslims. Mm -hmm. We have submitted ourselves wholeheartedly to the Lord of creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm.